Hey YouTube, what's up? I can tell you what's up with my life. My internet is very temperamental. It keeps turning on and off and it's very frustrating. Dory Gray. But anyway, you're not here to listen to me complain about my internet. You're here to hear me read a poem. Though, as I mentioned before, next week I will hopefully start with the singing, even though I'm kind of bad at it. The poem that I have picked for today comes from Izzy's book. It is called The Answer Is Never. It's a book about skateboarding, and the poem is actually part of the introduction. So I'm going to read that, and then I'm also going to read the first paragraph of the first chapter, because I think it's really good. And I feel like it deserves to be read. And it's my video, so that's what I'm gonna do. Especially because the poem is really short. Outside the local grocery, I was stopped for skating on the sidewalk. The man wants to know when my type is going to learn our lesson. Skating away, I know the answer to his question is never. And that's by Low Boy C.R. Stierick the Third. In 1981! Okay, here. Can you see the words? I'm not sure if this is on the internet, so I can't really link to it. I hope you can read that. This is chapter one! Chapter one! I'm just going to read the first paragraph. From the instant of the singularity that began the universe, movement has been a constant. Clouds of matter became stars and planets that were propelled away from each other. A scenario of unstilting expansion. A scenario of unstinting expansion that continues to this day. Hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang, the Earth coalesced into a planet, spinning and moving along with the rest of the universe. The parts of this particular planet mimic the entropy of the larger reality. Plates of rock shifted, mountains rose, volcanoes erupted, moisture turned to vapor that became clouds, and then rain, which fell to the earth to become streams and rivers that emptied into seas and oceans that sent waves crashing to the shore. Unending, eternal movement. You have to admit, for the first paragraph of a book about skateboarding, that's pretty poetic. I think people really underestimate skateboarding not only as a sport and an art, but just as a mode of transportation. Because, let's face it, it's a lot easier to store a skateboard or a longboard if you people longboard. Longboards are a lot more stable than skateboards if you're going to skate long distances, FYI. So I feel like people really underestimate them as modes of transportation because it is much easier to store a skateboard in a cubicle than it is to store a bike in a cubicle. And you can get one of them fancy folding bikes, but it is still going to be bigger than a skateboard or a longboard. So I don't understand all the hate that's going on with that. I think it's unnecessary. So yeah, that's my reading selection for today. And we will end the month of Wednesdays, next Wednesday, the way that we started this channel, with a song! Only, it'll be my own song and not a re-rendition of someone else's. So I hope that it is good and that you like it! Okay!